In this lesson, we will begin to generate the mill operation from the cavity mill dialog. After having to review the features in the cavity mill dialog in the previous lesson, you will now use the action buttons at the bottom of the dialog to generate the milling operation. So let's begin with the cavity mill dialog open from the previous lesson. Let's go ahead and go down to actions in the cavity mill dialog and select the generate button. Now notice right away you can see the operation tool cutting paths. Now let's go ahead back to the actions buttons at the bottom and let's go ahead and select the verify button. Notice we get a tool path visualization dialog and we have two tabs. Let's go ahead and select replay and under display options let's make sure it is on the tool in the drop-down menu. And now we come down to motion display, you'll see we have tool path. Right now it's set at current level within the tool. If I was to select all, notice we're back to all of the cuts within the tool path. But for this, we're going to go ahead and select just the current. For tool trace, we're going to leave it at tool tip. And make sure that there's a check in the box next to pause at each level. And if we come down to the animation speed, we can adjust that. Let's go ahead and place that at about a 6. And at the bottom we have play, reverse play, rewind, and fast forward. So let's go ahead and hit play to see our tool go through its tool cutting path. If you feel that this is going too slow, you can always stop and we can move the animation speed up faster and select play again. And notice how it is going much faster. Now you can view this in 3D dynamic as well. If we come to Tool Display, select Tool, our tool path will be None. And if we go all the way back down to the bottom, let's put this at about an 8, and let's go ahead and select Play. And if we notice, we have a three-dimensional version of our tool cutting into our part blank. Now when you're finished, go ahead and select OK. And next, let's go ahead and we're going to go to list. From the list we have the information of the tool path and the cavity mill and the tool and if we notice all the information here you can save by coming up here select save as and you can save that out however you wish as a text document or an HTML document and you can give it a name here and then select save. Go ahead and X out. Now we're finished with the cavity mill. We can select OK. And let's go ahead and go to a program order view. And notice here we have our cavity mill. And if I select on that, we can look at our tool cutting path that we've just created. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to create a post-process information on the tool and part that we just created.